Sinai, Zachmulseh, Rhinoceros are some of the largest remaining megafauna, with all species being able to reach a ton in weight. Their name means nose horned, and rhinos are often killed for these horns, which are used as ornaments or traditional medicine. There are only five species of rhino left, but there are also many interesting extinct rhinos. In this video, I will cover all living species and some interesting extinct rhinos. First, the African rhinos. There are two species, the white rhino and the black rhino. These two are actually quite similar in colour. There is a theory that white rhinos are named so because of a misinterpretation of the Dutch word wid, meaning wide. There is no evidence of this. The main difference between the two rhinos is that white rhinos have wider square lips to graze on grass, and black rhinos have a hooked lip to pick fruit from branches. Also, white rhinos have a longer skull and are larger on average. There are also rhinos in Asia. Two of these species are closely related, the Indian rhino and the Javan rhino. They both have only one horn and have thick folded skin that gives an armoured appearance. The Indian rhino is larger and is often called the greater one-horned rhinoceros. The Javan rhino is smaller and is often known as the lesser one-horned rhinoceros. The Javan rhinoceros was once the most widespread of Asian rhinos, but now there is thought to be less than 60 left in the wild. The fifth and final extant species of rhino is the Sumatran rhino, which is perhaps the most unique out of all the rhinos. It is the smallest, but still a large mammal. It also has a coat of reddish-brown hair covering most of its body. It has two horns, but the second is typically a stub. It is also unique in terms of behaviour. It is the most vocal of the rhino species. It is almost constantly vocalising. It makes three distinct sounds, eeps, wails and whistle blows. The Sumatran, like most rhino species, is on the brink of extinction. But what about those rhinos which did go extinct? The most well known is probably the woolly rhinoceros. This species is actually closest related to the small brown Sumatran rhinos. This species of rhino had thick long hair to survive the extremely cold mammoth steppe, and it had a massive hump. When fossils of woolly rhino horns were first discovered, they were believed to be claws of giant birds. Now we know much more about what these animals would have looked like. Some information about woolly rhino can even be found from cave art. Many paintings of a woolly rhino show a black band dividing the body. Woolly rhinos were about the same size as modern white rhinos, but other extinct rhinos were even larger. A lasmotherium was the size of a woolly mammoth. It is often depicted with a single giant horn, and is therefore also called the Siberian Unicorn. However, no fossilised horns have been discovered, so why is it believed to have had this giant horn? Well, a lasmotherium had a large dome on its skull, with imprints of large blood vessels. Another convincing piece of evidence is the discovery of prehistoric cave art that shows large one-horned rhinos, which are likely of a lasmotherium, but these weren't the largest rhinos. The much larger Paraceratherium is an extinct genus of hornless rhinoceros. It had a long neck, and it was believed to have had a prehensile upper lip, like the black rhino. It likely had a lifestyle similar to modern elephants, but it was much larger. Paraceratherium is the largest known land mammal to have ever lived. It is said to have weighed as much as five elephants, or ten white rhinos. Wow, these rhinos sure were big, but not as big as the rhino horn black market. I hope rhinos don't go extinct soon. Bye.